Hello everyone and welcome to my course on Julia for Data Science. So what is Julia and Julia as a programming language? Julia is one of the high level programming language. But then we have a number of other high level programming languages like Python, R, MATLAB and many more. So what is the advantage this Julia will give over those high level programming language? And why even Julia got developed? Because we have a number of other options are available. While all of our languages are very good while the development time. So with just small snippet of code, you can do many of the tasks in Python, R or a MATLAB. But this programming language is not good in execution time like C or a Fortran. So they are not very much fast while development process is very much fast. So we need a some language which is as good as Python in a development and as good as C or a Fortran while the execution or running the program. So Julia solve all those purpose. So let's see one major advantage Julia gives over other high level programming languages. So Julia looks like a Python. So I have written here small snippet of code which calculates the square or area of the square. So this is a very simple Python code function with just the two lines of code in a Python we have written and compiled this function. Same side if you write the Julia code exactly equivalent code you need to write apart from very small syntactical difference. So that means Julia looks like a Python. But at the same time, Julia gives big advantage over the Python, like it runs like a C, whereas Python, MATLAB or R kind of languages are very much slow in a execution. All right, so that is the big advantage this Julia will give over any other high level programming language. And that is the main purpose of Julia being developed, that it looks like a Python and it runs like a C. So let's see some of the history related to Julia. So Julia project began at MIT in 2009. And its first version they got released in 2012. So as of recording this video in 2019, the Julia version 1.3 got released. We'll see on their website. Julia already has a 2500 plus different packages for doing different tasks. It has an active community and let's go to the Julia website julialang.org and let's explore some more features related to Julia. So Julia Lang.org Julia language. All right. So Julia in a nutshell on a very first page they have written like Julia is a very fast so that means that is a big advantage Julia will give over any other programming language. It's a dynamic type. It's very much easy to use. It's a general purpose programming language and it's of course open source. Like Python, it has its own ecosystem for data visualization package, for general purpose programming language packages, for data science and machine learning packages are available inside the Julia. Then we have a scientific domain and parallel computing related packages are also available. Now as of recording this video, as I told you, Julia version 1.3 got available and we are going to install this 1.3 in a next video. You can go through the documentation download part we'll see in the next video. Uh, if you want to get update with what is happening in Julia, just follow along this uh, blog also. And there is an active community members are also available. So if you get any trouble, you can just uh, post your question. All right. So that is about the Julia. And we have seen one major difference and major breakthrough Julia is trying to bring in a programming world. All right. So that's all about this video. See you into next video. We'll get started with the installation of Julia on our local machine.